Hey guys, I'm Wes and welcome back to my shop. So a couple weeks ago I made a video on this miter lock router bit and in the comments I read that there was some concerns about um, these bits going dull fast because they have to hog out a lot of material. My thought is if I go to the table saw first and cut a 45 degree bevel and then run it through my router bit that should put a lot less strain on this bit and hopefully prolong the life of it. And um, I don't even know how I would begin to sharpen these when they go dull, but that'll be something I'll have to figure out in the future because I think I'm going to be getting a lot of use out of this. Okay, so for this example here, I'm going to use um, maple and walnut so that we get a nice contrast and we can see that lock miter um, when we're done. So what I'm going to do here is um, I'm going to start, I'm going to cut a bevel from here down so that it has a little bit yet to cut away. That way if I don't have my table saw set to a perfect uh, 45 degree, that's not going to matter because that router bit will correct it. I'm just going to use my setup block that I made from last time to see. Okay, gotta go way down. Okay, let's try that. Alright, I am going to use these feather boards so I get firm pressure on it. Before I turn on my dust collector and the router and you can't hear me talk, I am going to use this piece of uh, Baltic birch plywood because in my first test I discovered that when you come out you get, um, you get some blowout here in the end. So I'm just going to use this to fall in behind it for a little bit and um, yeah that should um, eliminate the tear out. Now for the mating piece, you have to run it this way. Now I don't have, my feathers boards won't reach this way to grab it and I don't have a way yet to um, put pressure down in this way which is probably ideal. My next rotor table setup I am going to have that, those capabilities um, but for now I'm just going to have to keep firm pressure and push down. So just so you guys know that if you're doing this it's a good idea to have pressure pushing this way and down. So a couple problems I see here is you can see that there's gaps here because of that miter that I cut. Now that might be okay if you uh, are okay with that being seen, but I am not. So I think uh, what I have to do is adjust my bevel so I cut less off. And also, um, it might be hard to see there, but I didn't get it lined up properly. So I'm gonna have to play with that. And that could be because of the um, the Baltic birch that I used as my setup block is probably a hair thinner than this, which I planned down to three quarters of an inch thick. So we'll make some adjustments and we'll try this again. Okay, so I did a shallower cut on the table saw and that seemed to work out quite well. A little minor adjustment with the fence. I just, what I did was I just bumped it out a little bit and that corrected the problem I had with it not lining up there. And yeah, so I also uh, had a few comments in the, that last video about is there enough room for glue in this? Because they said that joint looks awfully tight and there might not be enough um, room in it. 
So um, I'm gonna the glue and clamp this together and uh, we'll, we'll see what happens and see what, what it looks like after that glue dries. I don't really know what the best way is to glue this, but I'm just gonna get glue on all the faces as best as I can. Okay, let's try to clamp this up. Okay, one thing I'm noticing, the glue is kind of acting like a lubricant, so it's making it slide together a lot easier. The best part about these lock miners is when you clamp them, they don't slide around. Anyone that has glued up a miter before knows that they can be difficult to clamp because they just want to slide around. Wow, that's looking really nice. Okay, I'm gonna give that probably about 30 to 40 minutes to dry and uh, we'll take it off, clean up the glue squeeze out and see what it looks like. Okay, I let this sit for an hour. And uh, yeah, that is glued. Let's give this a sand to get rid of my glue ooze out and stuff. And I'll give you guys a nice close up of this. There you have it, it's a nice tight joint, matched up really nice. I am happy with this bit. Um, yeah, I think that's gonna make for some really strong boxes. Like, I don't even think I can break that. Maybe a future video I should do a strength test on these joints and see what happens. Maybe like drive my truck over it or something. That'll be kind of cool to see. So there you have it guys. That is a way to hog out the material with your table saw so you don't have to do it with your router bit. Um, and also managed to answer some questions about is there enough room for glue in this joint? And the answer to that is yes there is. It makes for a very strong joint. So I'd like to thank you guys for watching. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you never miss a new video, and hit that like button, and please share this video with all your friends. And like always, we'll see you in the next one.